Art 10 Luberdor 2 panels. Let's start. Download and open the Luberdor frame LD2P. <coughs> open. Okay, go to front elevation. Select the lock style and the hinge style. Go to material and finishes. Pick the button, create new parameter. Name it frame <coughs> style finish. Okay. Okay. Select the top rail, the mid rail, and the bottom rail. Go to material and finishes. Create new material and name it frame rail finish okay okay next go to family types go to frame rail finish pick the button go to material library Select the AEC materials. Select the wood. Look for wood. Insert. Right click and rename it to wood frame rail. <coughs> okay, go to appearance. Select the image. We need to rotate the wood grain to 90 degrees. Done. Okay. Apply. Okay. Let's change the graphic display to realistic so we can see the image. Okay. Go back to family types. Frame style finish. Go to material library. And select the AEC materials select the wood go for the wood insert right click and rename it to frame style <coughs> okay apply okay next download and open the component the C Luber okay let's okay open the C Luber <coughs> load into the project LD2P okay go to Reference label. Okay, double click. Okay, insert the C Luber. Okay, select the place on work plane. Pick. Then select or align. Select the reference plane. Select the center line of the Luber and lock. Select the Luber and we need to map up the parameters. Okay. Create new parameters. Name it Luber Finish. Okay. Okay. For the width, click the button, select the Luber Width. Okay, height, select the Luber height 2. The thickness, select the panel thickness. Okay, Luber spacing, frame thickness, we don't need to touch it. Okay, elevation from, pick the bottom and select the bottom rail <coughs> so it sits above the 
bottom rail okay next align align the center line up the luger and lock okay front elevation okay let's go to family types go to luger finish pick the button and go to material library and select the AEC materials look for the wood ok and select the wood insert right click and rename it to wood luber <coughs> ok go to appearance Okay, select the image and rotate the image 90 degrees ok apply ok next uh, go to reference level insert the luber select the place on work plane ok Align, align the center line of the luber and lock. Okay, select the luber. Let's map the parameters. Select the luber width for the height. Select the luber height 1. Okay, thickness. Select the panel thickness. Okay, <coughs> Uber spacing, frame thickness, okay, material and finishes, select the Uber finish, okay, front elevation, <coughs> okay, elevation front, it's 1000 millimeter for now, next, align, Select this reference plane, select the bottom of the luber, and lock. Okay. <coughs> Family types luber height 1, 1000 millimeter. The formula is the panel height. Okay. Minus the elevation mid rail. Okay, which is 900 plus the top rail 125 and plus the one half of the mid rail okay so you will get 1000 millimeter luber height 2 is equals to panel height minus the, minus the elevation mid rail uh, minus the top rail the mid rail and the bottom rail plus the luber height one so you will get a 625 millimeter luber width is the total width the panel width minus the lock style okay and the hinge style <coughs> Next, okay, let's go to preview or reference, lab, reference label, okay, select the lock style and change it to hinge style and the hinge should be the lock style. Set. Okay, create a reference plane. Select. Uh, let's create a parameter. Lock set. Offset. 
Okay. Then change the lock set up set to 70 millimeter. Okay, next download and open the door handle. Load into the project. Load to LD2P. Okay. Place the door handle, the, the lock set. Okay, pick. Select the lock set. Go to properties and select the lever handle with deadbolt. Thickness. Select the panel thickness. Okay. <coughs> Next. Go to edit type. Let's map the parameter for the finishes. Let's create a parameter and name it lock set finish. Okay. Okay. Okay, next. Align. Select the reference planes. Select the lock set and lock. Go to front elevation. Let's create a reference plane. Okay, draw a reference plane. Dimension. Select this reference plane. Select the dimension. Create new parameter. <coughs> Name it lock set height. Okay. The family types change the lock set height value to 1000 millimeter. Okay. Next, align. <coughs> select this reference plane and select the center line of the lock set and lock. Family types. Let's try the lock set height. Change it to 900. Okay, good. Let's go back to 1000. Apply. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. Let's go to preview. Okay. Family types. Let's try to. Change the height 1800. Okay, good. Let's go back to 2100. Apply. Okay. Next. Okay. Let's save family. Okay load into the project <coughs> okay select work plane pick okay i think we forgot to align this louver select the louver edit family Okay, go to reference level. Okay, align. Select the center reference plane and select the center of the rubber lock. Okay, see the 3D view. Okay, next, uh, save. Okay, load into the project and close. Okay, override. Okay, align. Select the center line of the door. 
lock select this line select the center line of the door lock okay let's test the parameter go to opening angle let's change it to 90 okay good 45 okay zero okay let's go back to 20 okay now let's map the rest of the parameter select the door panel thickness pick the button select the thickness panel width select pick the button and select the width panel height select and select the actual height okay elevation mid rail pick the button select the elevation mid rail okay lock style pick the button select the lock style hinge style select select the hinge style <coughs> okay top rail select the top rail mid rail pick the button and select the mid rail okay mid rail okay next bottom rail pick the button select the bottom rail okay next uh, go to edit type frame rail finish pick the button select the frame rail finish frame style finish select the frame style finish lock set finish select the door handle finish and the louver finish select the louver finish okay lock set height pick the button select the lock set height lock set offset select the lock set offset okay now let's go to 3d view select the door panel placeholder okay hide element okay now let's test the family test the parameter let's change the door width to 900 okay good next select the <coughs> let's change the mid rail to 150 millimeter apply Okay, good. Next, so, uh, opening angle 90. Okay, 45. 0. Okay, done. Thank you.